What's up, guys? I'm Brian Altano. I'm here with Mitch Dyer. Brian! We are checking out one of my favorite games of the year. Yes. If not my favorite game of the year. A little gem called Shovel Knight. I played one hour. Yeah? And got to the first village and uh -huh. put it down. I was like, that's good. Just pure smiles, this is, right? This is a good video game. So Shovel Knight's awesome. Uh, as you can see, this is not a... Uh, third-person action-adventure game. This is not a gritty, realistic, war-based first-person Where's my shooter. cover? Where's my cover? This is not a match-three puzzle game on your iPhone. Where this, are my 2048s? This is a classic, old-school, NES-inspired uh -huh. action platforming game Yes. by a little studio called Yacht Club Games. Um, and I, I just I love this game. Yeah, I'm, it, a, I'm it, just having a blast with it. It strikes the the, per the perfect tone of like, you know, it appeals to me as somebody who like loves and misses NES games and stuff like that. But it doesn't feel like it's pandering and dumb about it. Yeah, it's not cheap in the same way of a lot of like, oh, we're like a retro game, man. No, it's no, like, no, nothing like that. We're, we are a retro game because we look and sound just like an NES game, but our design conventions are also, you know, in line with what you would expect from an NES game, but also smart. Yep. In the same way, uh you would expect a game to have evolved over the course of 20 years. Yeah, and it's it's just it's I think it's just really pretty. And I think yeah. that uh seeing a game like this just makes me really happy. I grew up with games like this. Yeah. Um, the ones I grew up with were a lot harder than this game, a lot cheaper. Um, there's something I like about this game that it feels difficult, but it never feels like too difficult. Yeah, it's never unfair. It's never fighting against you. It has, you know, it's easy to draw a couple comparisons to Dark Souls in terms of like some of the the ways it is challenging and the ways you recover after failure, but yep, yep. it's never frustrating in the same way Dark Souls is. And I love Dark Souls, but there are times where I'm playing and it's like, man, this is just brutal. Yeah, hundred percent. And um, so here we are. We're on the second level. We're just sort of like messing around. You got some helicopter rats. I did, yeah. So as you can see, like I I like there's there's a sort of kind of inherent humor to this game that I think it's not. Not it's not like in your face. There's nobody going, oh, you know, somebody set us up the bomb and all this other yeah, stuff yeah. like that. But there's something kind of like funny about this, you know. And I, I do think there's a, a lot of really cool influences here. Like right here, these knights Just popping his head off. Very inspired by Ducktales uh, for <laughs> NES. I want to point something out. These are the checkpoints. Yeah. Now, yes. two things can happen at these checkpoints. I can walk by them and just be like, cool. Or if I feel like I'm a tough guy, oh, I can break them open, man. take the money, but. Murder the That's no longer a checkpoint. So, so when now you die, die, you will go back to the start. I'm going back to the beginning of the level, or whichever last checkpoint I uh, did not destroy. Yeah, I did destroy. So, so the other thing that comes with that is a very Dark Soulsy thing that I love, which is when you die, you lose a bunch of your loot that you pick up, uh, and you have to recover it on the way to the next checkpoint. Yeah. And if you don't recover it, that it's, loot's just gone. It's gone. It's gone for good. And you want loot because loot gets you cool stuff like new suits. It gets you uh, power ups and stuff like that. So. Um, and as, as you can see, there's a lot of like sort of like little nods to old games everywhere, which I like. You know, we've got these chandeliers that kind of remind me of Castlevania, yeah. um, with the torches in the background and stuff like that. Uh, the jumping mechanic is actually we mentioned Ducktales earlier. It's it's straight from there. So it's interesting because the game doesn't you know actually straight up tell you do this, yeah, but do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it's, it just kind of makes you figure it out too. Like it yeah. doesn't feel. You know, it doesn't have that Mega Man, Mega Man tutorial thing. You just kind of got to sort it out. Yep. Lots of little hidden areas like this one right here. This oh, is actually... Oh, I've never seen it's that. So it's so cool. This is the, so this is the only place in the game you can actually do that. Um, and uh, we have it unlocked in our save file here. But in certain treasure chests, you find these these genies, and they talk to you, and they sell you uh, sub-weapons, which is really Ooh. cool. And if you're playing on the Wii, you can switch through those on the fly. Gotcha. So a lot of these are great because, you know, they... You've got things like that. You've got this, uh, like very. It's kind of like the. Oh, uh, uh, it's the axe from Castle Castlevania. Exactly. So little nods like that all over the place. Um, so it's, it's a little bit Castlevania. It's a little bit Mario. A little bit Mega little Man. Bit Mega Man. You know all those things, and it, yep. it never really feels like it's just a greatest hits of those of those games. Yeah, it just it's feels not, like it's it, not pandering in the same way a lot of classic, yeah, it, classic it, it, games It sort of are. takes cool cues from that little samples, right, and then builds a, a, a whole new experience based on them, which I dig. Yeah, I thought going into it that the comedy of it would be dumb. Like, oh, Getty, he's a knight and he's got a shovel. He's got a shovel knight. Yeah, and I think what it is is that back in the day, uh, you would walk into a store and you'd buy a game like Shovel Knight, called Shovel Knight, yeah. which is just sort of like, I mean, like it, it's even sort of like, you know, DuckTales. Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> like, I don't think nowadays. Uh -oh. Ooh. Ooh. Hope you got that checkpoint. Whoa, yeah. you're back. Secret areas. Oh, look large, at that. You know where all the secrets are. Which I really dig. Yeah, oh, I definitely do. 
Big fan of Shovel Knight. I put about 10 hours in. Really? Uh, it took me about 10 hours to complete the single player campaign, or the, the campaign, and uh, finishing it unlocks a new game plus for all of your uh, items carry over. You might have seen earlier, I knocked over a, uh, this is such a great little nod to Mega Man right here, by the way. Oh god. What have you done? Ah, yes. I, I love that little claw thing he does there. <laughs> that um, sad attempt to hit you. So if you've seen there's those dinner trays, they have uh, turkey meat. Under yeah. Them. I'm going to keep that checkpoint yeah, there yeah. just because this is looking I don't have dangerous. a ton of faith today. Um, you're talking, you're playing, it's not exactly. an easy gig. But when you play a new game, plus all of the uh, turkeys are replaced with bombs. <laughs> so why not? Oh, come on. You yes. nailed it. So yeah, again, like, lots of little hidden areas, cool nods to uh, old, even like the... There's a nod to like Mario Brothers here, where you can kind of like jump over the levels. Oh yes, um, which I, I really dig. God damn you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny that uh, playing a game like this, you know, the whatever I don't know, it seems kind of cheesy to just call it like old school inspired, whatever. Yeah. But like you 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 think about the way you're playing these games differently. Like you try that stuff. Yeah. I've never try to do like. Can I get around the UI in Gears of War? <laughs> no, of course not. Don't yeah, be you dumb. Don't, you don't try to jump over the multiplayer map yeah, in, in yeah, Gears yeah. of War, right? Um, but you do here just because it's it sort of fits. So it's kind of like it, it begs the question for me, like you know, is this game fantastic because I grew up with games like this, or is it just a fantastic game? And I, yeah. I honestly think it's a little bit of both. I yeah. think that you'll you'll enjoy this game if you didn't if you're not an '80s or '90s baby like Mitch and I. But you'll also enjoy it just because it's just really fun. And you know, I think it's 15 bucks. It you'll you'll play it for probably about 10 hours to finish it uh, and get a bunch of stuff in it. So that wasn't good. Uh, well, you came out of that all right. Yeah, but so I missed my chance to collect that cool stuff mm, over there. You goofed. Um, oh, man, you, you do it right. You come out every every drop with your shovel down. You're ready for action all you gotta the be, time. You got to be careful. Ah, I love that that dude drops his shield or puts his shield up. When I you know, I know. Yeah, it's great. Um, so this is like a little Mega Man 2 inspired section where you hit a thing and the platforms start appearing. Uh, luckily, they don't do that disappearing thing like they do in Mega Man 2. I was going like, to ask if that's what you are going <laughs> to Man, burning books. We're getting we're getting good today, Mitch. Yeah, you're on. A oh oh no! Man. Why did I say that? I was about to say no. you were doing. See, really aren't well. you glad I didn't break that checkpoint? So you can see the X up there was the Ooh. last time I did. Turns out I missed this whole area. Secrets. Oh man. Yeah, you almost got up there. So yeah, this is Shovel Knight, and this and is it's actually awesome. it's so this is, good. Yeah, it is so good. You can good. unlock the little the music there. So the music notes are cool. They're just a little extra bonus they they stick in this level. Uh, we'll show you guys the towns. Yeah. But uh, in one of the towns, which are very reminiscent of uh, games like Zelda Two, you Fax can Anadu. and Faxanadu. Yeah, you can bring these music notes to a guy. He'll give you money for them, and then he'll uh, he'll play the songs that you found on his little guitar. Uh, so soundtrack for this game, by the way, incredible. Very cool. I want to point out something here. Uh, a lot of games don't have this option, but this game does have a fishing sub-weapon that we, when you see sparkling areas, oh my God. you know. Ugh! Look at that fish. You can pull up a, a fish, he'll fill up your chalice. Now your chalices are over here, uh, these ecores. Oh man. And uh, one of them will get you invincible, one of them will get you uh, new health, and one of them will actually make treasure uh, appear more often. Oh my here, God. So. Ah, that's so smart. Oof. Yeah, nice. I am cutting it very close. Play with fire. Get your stuff back. Get your stuff back. I want it. I can't yeah, let it getting all of it. You're not so yeah, now if I now. die you here, go. you gotta go. Oh Time God. is of the essence, Brian. No! Oh, this Mitch. is bad. This is bad. Oh. You're good. You're good. You're good. Pro, pro level stuff, yeah, there Brian. We who puts a? Oh, come on. Who puts a turkey under a broken chandelier? Castles, kingdoms. <laughs> <laughs> they so, got, oh, oh bombs! <laughs> Oh, so this uh, this chef that's planting bombs inside of the, the where the turkey should be, he's all over New Game Plus. I think uh, the the story of Shovel Knight is really his story, if we're being yeah. honest. It's it's the story you don't see, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it always is. So now here we're coming up to a boss for the first time. As you can see, one of my favorite things, you can uh, jump through. Break it, you coward. You can jump through the boss doors like that, just like Mega Like Man. Mega Man. So I love that all of the knights you're fighting are like these other knights who think they're cooler right. than you. Right, and this guy's got a great name, which is King Knight, which makes He's, no yeah. sense. No, it's the best. Oh, man. He annihilated you there. Oh, man, he's jumping all over the place. Oh, you're okay, you're going with skills. So what, at this point in the game, would you normally have this stuff? Um, so you you kind of unlock them uh, in each stage. On Some you get in the overworld and other areas. Oh, man. <laughs> That's great. Is this dangerous confetti? 
There we go. Man, you, you rocked his world. Hell yeah. Now you are the King Knight. I am. So a little cool sequence happens at the end here. Uh, and yeah, you asked about the sub-weapons. They're found sort of throughout <laughs> the levels. Like there's a, a hidden area yeah. with a guy in a, in, a, in a chest, which you hope is treasure, but instead it's a little man. <laughs> and uh, here we, so we've got this sort of Mario 3 inspired overworld, which yeah. I really love. Um, and yeah, you, you unlock them in each level, and then you know, eventually you'll have a whole screen full of them and tons of stuff to play with. The world's big. There's tons okay. of uh, different, like, varied uh, enemies and terrains, and there's cool, like, kind of sub-levels, like this one, which is kind of like a, you know, a, a gem chase. Oh, man. Um, then we've got towns, you know, fire levels, ice levels, all that fun stuff. So yeah, this is Shovel Knight. I love it. We love it here at IGN. Yeah, big uh, fans. I think we gave it a 9. Colin Moriarty reviewed it. You can go and check out his review. Um, Mitch and I are going to do a couple more Let's Plays. So oh, yeah. If you, if you want more Shovel Knight, I mean, just keep watching more for Shovel Knight because that's all we want to do is just stay in here and play Shovel Knight. Yeah, we actually don't have jobs anymore. It's yeah, just, we're just playing Shovel Knight all day. This is just it for us. We were told to just stay in a room and play Shovel yeah. Knight forever. So yeah. uh, for better or worse, this is the rest of our lives. <laughs> Mostly for the better. Keep it locked. For all things <laughs> Shovel Knight, stay right here with the rest of us here at IGN where we love Shovel Knight and regular nights too. And just playing old shovels. And day. Day's okay too. And day's okay. We out.